Welcome to Salty Mechanics. This is Life on the Docks here in Norway. I'm so excited that you are here to work with me today. I'm enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Hopefully you are as well. I'm gonna open some packages from Yanmar parts that I ordered not too long ago. And then after that, we gotta go out and we gotta work. All right, let's do it. It's not always easy to find the right boat. There's so many here, <laughs> but I'm gonna find it. I think that's the one. This is no fun. Makes it a little bit more difficult to get in. I gotta say, this is not the best part of the job. And there's a bunch of water on the cover, so it's all just cramped in. And I'm supposed to figure out why this engine won't start. Not the greatest conditions. But I am a boat mechanic, so I guess this comes with the job. Oh my god! Head first! Coming in! Ah. Oh. oh my goodness lord. All right, let's find the engine. Well, hello. Oh. That's a lot of water. Okay. All right, I just don't want to start this engine with all that water around it so I'm gonna to talk to the customer and see if maybe they want to remove the water themselves instead of me spending a bunch of time it's gonna cost more money for them as well on just removing water before we can do anything so yeah that's where we at I think I'm just gonna do something else with my time right now and then if the customer wants to I can come back and see if we might be able to start this engine all right Time is definitely upon us here on the docks, which means we have to clean up. <laughs> and this right here, it's all my responsibility. A company is gonna come to pick all this stuff up in just a few days. That means that I have to prepare everything for that. So that's my job right now.
I just love mornings like this. It's a bit cold still, but the sun is shining and I can definitely feel springtime is upon us. So this is a North Star and they have this stern drive back here which we have serviced and now what I have to do is to put the propellers on otherwise it's not really going to work that well. All right, all done with that. So I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee and doing some emails and I just received a message from the customer with the old Yanmar engine that won't start and he said now everything is ready. You can come back and do whatever you have to to make that engine start. So let's do it.
Well, that's better. All right, we're here. It's definitely a little bit better now once the cover is off. And uh, they said that all the water that was underneath, almost covering the back end of the engine, is now gone. So it's a little bit more convenient to work. So let's do it. All right, let's see if there's any power. Well, there's no batteries. So, good thing I have a battery right here. So, then it's just a matter of figuring out what wires goes where. I see this wire right here comes up here. is going straight to the engine, so it's grounded right there. All right, so it's all hooked up. Let's see if we have power now. Yes, we do. So I was just about to start the engine, but then I noticed something. We got some missing parts here. This is the three diesel injection valves, and this line here takes diesel back to the filter. Diesel that you don't really use. And this one is okay, this one is okay, but this one is definitely not. I don't know what's going on here. I didn't see that last time I was here. I guess I was too occupied with being annoyed about the conditions on board. <laughs> so I'm a bit disappointed now. Uh, you know, I didn't see this last time I was here. I wish I did, because it would have saved me from the trip today. I'm gonna have to talk to the customer and uh, see what he has to say. We might be back, but uh, most likely uh, we will end this project right now. All right. So I'm back at the office and uh, I'm now writing a report on this very strange job that really wasted my time, <laughs> but that's just the way it is sometimes. I talked to the customer and uh, we agreed not to continue this job. He didn't tell me that he already started a repair and I think what happened here is that he tried to pull the diesel injection valve out and it didn't work and then it broke. And now, you know, being so difficult to get parts from Myanmar on these old engines, I don't think there's much we can do. And also, it might get very expensive. Maybe we have to take the whole head off the engine, you know, in order to get the diesel injection valves out. We might have to sort of hammer them out from underneath and that might get very expensive and I don't think the customer wants to spend that much money on this engine so it's better that we just stop and I will bill him for an hour even though I've spent a little bit more time than that <laughs> so all right I'm just gonna put this behind me now write the report and then move on all right All right, that's all we could film for this episode of Salty Mechanics. Now I'm gonna sit here at my desk and watch this movie, The Big Short, a little bit and then uh, continue answering emails and all of that. Hopefully you had a good time watching this episode. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. All right, I will see you here back on the docks of Norway next time for more mechanics and whatever. See you then.